Yes, so if chapter one looked at, at schooling and the impact of integration in schooling, then chapter two really explores, well, why is it that the um, quality of education has taken so long to improve despite these year-on improvements in the national education uh, results, the assessment results? And this goes directly to the issue of the quality of teachers relatively underexplored in policy redevelopment in South Africa in the first 10 years, teacher education became an increasing focus of government in the second uh, 10 years. So the um, Mbeki and Zuma administrations have, have cast a much more, uh, if, if you like, a sharper focus on the quality of teacher education and this Council for Higher Education in South Africa has begun to institute a series of audits of teacher education qualifications at university levels. In terms of education reform itself, what happened to teacher education was that it was removed from training colleges and integrated into universities. So universities took responsibility for teacher training. And a good many colleges of education in South Africa were either closed down or merged. So that's part of the the changing nature of higher education, but you can see just from that development, this preoccupation with developing a new generation of better qualified, more highly skilled, and hopefully bilingual or trilingual teachers for the South African setting. And that's why chapter two brings together, if you like, the focus on schooling with a focus on the quality of teaching.